So a lot of people ask me, Yannick, HiFear has so many features, where do I start? So in the next couple of minutes, I'm just gonna walk through how I use HypeFury and how you can use it as well. Um, create page, that's really where you'll spend most of your time. If you have your own ideas already, start typing. If you click on add to queue, let me hide this. If you click on add to queue, let me do that. You'll see that your queue will start to fill up. This was a tweet we just added. Now it shows that there's only one tweet in the queue. That's because there are two different types of queues. Um, this one was from the tweet I just added. And then we have these recurrent tweets. I'm gonna go back to that in a minute. I'm first gonna show you a bit more on the great page. Now here on the great page, there are a couple of things here on the right. You'll find your drafts. Pretty simple, you know, we can store a lot of drafts there. So whenever where I have like a brain fart, I just pick up my phone, go to drafts and add it there, you know? It's simple, if you have something, go to a great page and then click to save the draft and it'll be all up there. Um, next to that is our inspiration. And so we have a bunch of inspiration for you. You can use templates, which is basically fill in the blanks. So haha uh -huh, is a flywheel for a better life. It's just fill in, you know, you can click reuse, fill in the blank, Click add the queue and you're done. And so this takes a couple of seconds and you have a new post ready. Next to um, templates, we have like all niche related content. And so here, if you click on marketing, you'll see posts that did really well in the marketing niche. And what can also really help is, well, I'm not really into self-improvement things. I write more about marketing and the startups, but it is interesting to check it out and to see, okay, what are people talking about here? And can I now rephrase this? Or can I like say something about marketing that's really just based off of this tweet? Simple, just click reuse, um, change the tweet and you're done. It takes a couple of seconds. Now, if you wanna know how the tweet will look on, uh, on X, on Twitter, for example, you can use this uh, preview mode. Now, one of the cool things about High Fury is you can very easily cross post your post to anywhere. So let's say you have an Instagram account. You can just say, well, I like this post. I'm gonna cross post it to Instagram. So at one flick of a switch, you'll actually see, well, we'll create a um, preview for you. And there it is. Um, my account is linked to my personal account. So, but you'll see your own, of course, your own, um, profile picture and um, name. And so you'll immediately see how this looks. Now, if you create a thread, you know, create multiple tweets, you'll actually post, we won't, we don't show you the preview, but you'll actually post a Instagram carousel. I just add a caption and you're done, add to the queue. And whenever the tweet, the post is posted on X, your carousel will also be posted on Instagram. It's that simple. You can do the same with LinkedIn, for example. Um, here it's, you'll see, huh? this is the second tweet. So it'll actually create like more like of a long form post for you. But you can also say, well, you know, I like the text. I like that I can just, you know, um, redo what I written for Twitter and I can reuse that for LinkedIn as a large post, but I can also transform it into a carousel as well. This works a little bit differently. You can still like create your thread, then um, let us create a carousel for you, but there's no way for Hype Fury to communicate with LinkedIn to say, post this carousel. So what we do is we create a carousel for you. We email you the PDF and the only thing you need to do is just upload it and you've got yourself a great carousel and these perform really well on LinkedIn. So try it. Next up, I already spoke about it, recurrent posts. So why do we use it? Pretty simple. Uh, it's, you can sit down and for example, for growth, we sit down for an hour and we just punch out a lot of different posts. Now, if you go to manage categories, you can add a lot of different categories. Have, for example, for growth, we have 44 different posts. And the cool thing is you can check, well, um, how did those posts really do? 
Yeah, so this one got uh, one retweet, 1.3K. This one performed a bit better, almost 2K. And so you'll start to see, okay, hey, these posts did better, those posts did worse. I'm going to do more of these types of posts because they did better than this one. And so it's like a, a great way to see based on categories, like, hey, how did my post do? Which one can I improve? And which one can I just take out and remove? And the other nice thing about recurrent posts is you can actually automate your entire timeline. So we don't really need to create any new content. For one, we have a bunch of content scheduled already. Right? So we created a bunch of posts, but also now you saw that we have like 44 posts here in the growth category, 44. So we have three, six posts per week. So that means like in like seven weeks, we'll have cycled through all the posts. And what happens when we hit post number 45, there is no post 44. So we go back to post number one right? or somewhere random. We'll actually post one of those older posts and just reuse the content. And you might think, well, that's duplicate content or that won't work. It actually, it does work. Uh, people will find it interesting. Why? Because that person wasn't online when you first posted it or um, your posts just don't get seen by every, every follower all the time. And so it's like pretty easy to reuse it and it works. Now, the other thing you really need, especially as like a, you know, beginner account is the engagement builder. So how does that work? You can basically create your own timeline, add a bunch of people to it. And you can also like add search keywords. So for instance, marketing or startups, and then you get your very own personalized uh, timeline. Now, why is that interesting? Well, pretty simple because you can read it. You can quickly say, no, I don't want to respond to this one. I'm going to skip, skip. Oh, this one is interesting. Let's quickly reply here, reply and bum and you're done. Same with, um, you know, next week, you can just really quickly cycle through and, you know, go through your list. And why do you want to do this? Well, if you have a new account with like below one or 2000 followers, you just don't have a lot of organic reach yet. So what do you want to do? You want to get on people's radar. How do you do that? by selecting people you'd like to be in front of. And so Kieran, I don't know, he has 100,000 followers, don't know exactly, but he has a lot of followers that are interesting to me because they're also interested in writing, they're into you know creating content. So I wanna be relevant on Kieran's timeline. Why? Not just for Kieran. You know, if you're a nobody, if you just started on Twitter, on X, and people don't know you, well, you wanna, get in front. You want to get at the front seat. And how do you do that? By posting relevant comments on other people's timelines. And you can use the engagement builder to, to do that. Now, another thing you can do is it's called auto DMs. So what we do quite often is we create a lead gen product. So let's go to Gumroad, Gumroad uh, dashboard, products. So we have quite a, quite a few products. We just added a bunch new. So these are like literally new, new, nobody downloaded it yet. And what we'll do is we'll say, Hey, we just downloaded, sorry, we just created this fantastic thing that you can now master X in 25 minutes. Uh, we decided to release it for free. You can download it, just, you know, comment and like this post. Now, how does that work in Hype Fury? You start a campaign, I just want a new campaign, say finished. Totally new video course on how to master X. Uh, I decided, or we, because it's High Fury, we decided to release it for free. Just comment with X and we'll DM you the link. We'll DM you the link. Now, super simple. The DM is going to be, hey, thanks for thanks for commenting, etc. And then here's a URL, URL to that Gumro product. So set the requirements. What's it going to be? It's just going to be reply to the tweet. You can ask people like, 
just like comment with X and we'll DM you the link. You say here, reply to tweet, what should they reply? X. What you can also do is people on a premium plan can say, well, I want to create a list. This is going to be the free X course list list and now we can retire people so everybody who responds to this tweet to this post will be put in a list and later on we can say hey did you enjoy this course if you did well we've got something else for you why don't you download that as well uh, we add it to the queue and we're done and i'll show you how it looks like here it is now you can see there's another dm campaign attached to it i'm going to remove it because otherwise I'm going to forget and this one as well. Now, this is really the most important stuff you need to know. And I'm just going to show you analytics as well. So here you can basically see like, how did my tweets perform? Like what were the best tweets? Uh, for example, what I usually do is I check profile clicks. Like, hey, what tweets got me the most profile clicks? Because profile clicks lead to more followers. And so you want to focus on those. And the other thing you can do is, let me see, power-ups. A couple of automations I think you should set up is Tweet Booster. Basically what it does is like every couple of hours you could say, well, I want to have my tweet retweeted once. Why? Because not everybody will have seen it. There are people just that have logged in, or if you're in the US and want, you want to reach your US, sorry, if you're in the EU, EU and you want to reach your US uh, audience, you actually want to post later. So if it's 8 a.m. here, it's like two in the morning in, in uh, the US. So you want to say, well, in six hours time, I want to have my tweet retweeted. And we do that for you. Now, another thing you can set up is, like there are a lot of people who retweet other people's stuff, that's fine. But what you want, don't want is to have that uh, on your timeline all the time. So we actually auto unretweet it for you. It's very easy to set up. Now, the other thing you can do is it's a Twitter auto block, which is basically you can say, well, if my tweet performs well, I want to add something as a comment to that tweet. So here we'd say, for example, if a tweet got, I don't know, 10 likes, then you can post whatever. So uh, we have all these uh, different types of um, like auto comments. Yeah, we create a bunch of them. We could create alternatives and then you can actually check those metrics. It's been a while since we actually activated them, but you can check out like, okay, how many, how many clicks did we get? How do these perform? And then you can start to form an opinion like, okay, this type of auto block that performs like wildly better than the other one. So I'm going to push that more than, than, you know, another one. This in 10 minutes, a little bit over is like the basics you should really know and use from Hype Fury. And good luck on your journey to building an audience. I wish you all the best. Cheers. Thanks for watching.